I don't know what I'm going to say here today, but the <laughs> girls look amazing. Uh, they've spent a day and a half getting themselves <laughs> ready for this occasion. And I enjoyed the whole situation at home. It was lovely. Very good. <laughs> Now, where are we going? Calvin, I'm going, to welcome, I'm going to welcome you into the family. And you're some fella, and I'm really proud of you. I wish you all the very best, and the girls are amazing. And the work that Danielle's put into this, the venue has been just absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to ask you all to stand up and toast the bride and groom. So here we are, um, we're at the end of the speech, the part I was dreading the most, um, the part where I have to express my feelings, my romantic gestures, and <laughs> never mind speaking in front of you lot, um, it's not going to be easy. So, um, no, Danielle, you've done a great job this whole day, um, it wouldn't have been, not that it wouldn't have been the same without you, but uh, <laughs> all of your hard work, planning and preparation that's gone into this day has been fantastic. Um, but no, thank you very much for everything you've done. It's been fantastic. Um, you've you've single-handedly almost organised this whole wedding because certainly I've been no help whatsoever. Um, you're so caring, kind, and you look fantastic in your dress today. So. But in all seriousness, thank you very much for all you, you do for me and uh, all the small things, the big things, and everything in between. Um, and could I just ask you all to be upstanding and toast to my new wife once again, the Mrs. Jordan. Cheers. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We have gathered here in this beautiful setting and in the presence of Almighty God uh, to celebrate the gift of marriage. Today we come here and Calvin and Danielle seek to be married and shortly we will move to that purpose. Jordan, take Danielle Hammond, whose hand you now hold, to be your wedded wife, and do you promise before Almighty God and these witnesses to be her loving and faithful husband, for better, for worse, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish her, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live. I do. And Danielle, in the same manner. Do you, Danielle Hammond, take Calvin Jordan, whose hand you now hold, to be your wedded husband? And do you promise before Almighty God and these witnesses to be his loving and faithful wife, for better, for worse, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, to love, cherish and obey, forsaking all others, as long as you both shall live? I do.
Well, Calvin, as a sign of the vows that you have just made, please take this ring and place it on Danielle's finger. And Danielle, in the same way, as a sign of the vows that you have made, take this ring and place it on Calvin's finger. We... Uh, <laughs> see, there's a lesson there already. Calvin was right. right. Whether you could see it or not, let me assure you, the rings were offered and the rings were received. And therefore, Calvin and Danielle have today promised before God and before you to live together in marriage. And therefore, I declare them to be husband and wife in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And what God has joined together, let no one separate. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you to please stand and give a round of applause to the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Jordan. <laughs> Calvin, you may kiss your back. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all having a wonderful day celebrating the new Mr. and Mrs. Jordan. According to tradition, I'm supposed to sing the groom's praises and tell you about as many good points. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't sing, and I certainly don't lie. In all seriousness, I think we'll all agree that Danielle looks absolutely stunning, and Calvin, you just look a bit stunned.